Hey Midwest Conference fans, I'm Peyton Tabor here on Midwest Conference Media Day. Right now I'm joined by head football coach at University of Chicago, Todd Gilchrist. Coach, thanks so much for taking the time to meet with me. Uh, thanks for having me. Absolutely. This is awesome. So, first thing for you, Coach, last year you and your guys finished 7 3 overall. What were some of the highlights on the season? Uh, some of the big highlights, obviously. Nicky Ambrose, you know, being able to put his work out there. And I mean, there's a returning All American. Uh, it was really good to see, you know, Wes Gow like, as a first year starter at quarterback have the year they did. And then defensively, I thought defensively they were, they were really, they were, they were like that. They played very well all year, and I was looking to replicate that. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking about replicating that, what was your focus this offseason to help your program continue to take those steps forward this season? The biggest thing for us, you know, we lost our three games, you know, by very small margins. Mm -hmm. So we talked about, you know, winning the narrow margin. So having a plus two mentality and really being able to focus on that and the little details that will help us in those moments to be able to, you know, execute. What players are you looking forward to seeing step up both offensively and defensively to continue your guys' success? One hundred percent. I think offensively, uh, our offensive line, you know, Ryan Bowles and Madden High, uh, those guys coming in and, and being able to now take more senior roles and kind of leadership roles up front, especially with a, a younger offensive line. Um, so them being able to step up is is something I'm really looking forward to. They've done a great job this off season, and then you look at the backfield and you got Jack Ruff and. Uh, who played a little bit for us last year, spelling less, and then uh, with Nick leaving, you know, Kyle James and Reese Logan, you know, those those are two guys that were really looking to step up. And Alvin Perimeter, I know I'm talking about a lot of our guys, but uh, Alvin Perimeter, you got Luke Degner and, and Aiden Nava and you know Coleman Smith, and some of those guys just being able to progress things forward. And defensively, once again, you know, I think they played very well last year, and to have both of our you know starting linebackers back with uh, Will Skaronski and Aiden, Aiden Capolino. Uh, and then you add in Sterling uh, Sakashita. And then you think about our D-line with Karush and Barbara Long. And you know those guys are going to do very, very well. And they've had a very good offseason. So very excited to see them when we start. Coach, I'm curious. Who's a guy that maybe you don't know by name or by stat that you're looking forward to seeing make a big difference this year? I would say there's, there's a couple of them. Um, but a, a kid who, who kind of embodies our program our core values of a positive attitude, attention to detail, and a sense of urgency is Josh Mitten. I'm really looking forward to see Josh Mitten play a bigger role on the back end, you know, especially with graduating two senior safeties. Uh, once again, we talk about his offseason and his buy-in and what he's been able to do this offseason. Very, very excited to see that. Yeah. Well, my next question for you is, having graduated running back Nicky Ambrose, that's going to change your offense a little bit. He's such a forceful player. How, how is that going to How is that going to change? Uh, I wouldn't say it's going to change anything dramatically, but it does change kind of how we go in the games. You know, I think, uh, you know, last year being able to hand the ball off to Nick and throw the ball to Nick and kind of do some other things, uh, he built us out in a, in a couple, you know, scenarios. But um, I like where our backfield is and, and those guys being able to step up. And maybe it's not one prominent guy, but now it's two to maybe even three guys who can be back there. Uh, so that running back by committee is something that we're going to be committed to. What was your biggest lesson learned? Mm, it's a great question. Um, I would say is kind of all the administrative stuff that goes that yeah. goes along with it. You know, uh, you know, coaching football, whether it's at you know Division One, Division Two, Division Three, uh, you know, football, football. And as you look at it now, it's kind of making sure that the team is doing what they're supposed to do rather than just the side of the ball, and making sure that everything around the team. And we talk, we call it servant leadership. To where we want to make sure that we're looking ahead and moving roadblocks that the team may, may have down down the line. So when they get to that point, they're able to still go full throttle and still be all good. Coach, what is one thing that most people don't know about New Chicago football that you want them to know? That we love football and we play hard. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> uh, I think uh, it's, it's it's funny because you know when you run people, oh, you talk about football. Like yes, we do. We play very very well, and you know when it, winning games and. It's not necessarily about that. It's about, you know, the young men will be able to build up. And we want them to be able to graduate from Chicago and have that, you know, world-renowned degree. But make sure that we're building young men that are going to go out and run the world, you know. So one day they're going to be a husband, they're going to be a father, and we want to make sure that they have the right tools and they're learning that from our program. That's so great to hear that. Awesome. My last question that I have for you today, Coach, is actually from Frank Rossi, who's co-host of D3 Football in the Huddle. So he's asking, your team struggled last year to win against the top-level teams in the Midwest Conference. 
what were the messages you heard from your players about what they took away from those narrow losses and how are they going to build off of them to turn those losses into wins this season? Absolutely. Uh, one thing that they, their communication back back to me, and, and we talk about it, but sometimes you got to be in the moment and, and have that experience to actually be able to go out there and execute. But it's everything matters and it matters all the time. Mm -hmm. So all the little details of how you align, even when we're walking around our building picking up trash. Like you don't know if walking past that piece of trash is going to be a reason why we end up losing the game. Now, that's a big grandiose statement, but when you talk about everything mattering, those are the small details that we want to focus on. And now we can make sure we're executing in those narrow margins. Absolutely. And yeah, just keep building off of that. 100%. Well, that's all I have for you today, Coach. I really appreciate you taking the time to meet with me. Thank you. This was awesome. Yeah, and I wish you the very, very best this season. Absolutely. Much appreciated.